My Computex coverage is brought to you by Wootware and MSI. Be sure to check out their links down in the video description. With the new Broadwell eCPUs coming out, MSI has released a few new updated motherboards to match. These X99 chipset boards, in addition to a few others, were part of the main highlights of MSI's Computex booth. One of the key features that MSI added to their new X99 motherboards was the Mystic Lighting RGB extensions, which is MSI's version of allowing your motherboard to control RGB LED strips to create a seamless lighting experience. Also featured on all of their new motherboards, while not necessarily a new feature, is the steel armor protection on both the DIMM slots as well as the PCI Express slots. So just keep those features in mind as I go more in depth with all of these boards. Starting off with the carbon iterations of the X99 motherboards, MSI is updating the Godlike Gaming and Gaming Pro to include the black PCB of the carbon series. The Gaming Pro carbon includes a whole host of RGB assortment around the board to provide ample lighting, which combined with the Mystic Lighting extension should provide for some great case ambiance. It also has four PCIe 3.0 X16 slots, eight DDR4 DIMM slots, supporting up to quad channel memory up to 3433 MHz. The PCIe slots can support up to three-way SLI or Crossfire. There's also an additional two PCI Express X1 slots, a U.2 connector, a full M.2 connector, then 10 SATA 3 ports, with two of those being reserved for SATA Express. For I.O., there's a PS2 port, four USB 2.0 ports, clear CMOS button, pretty nifty, four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, an Intel Gigabit LAN, which has a 15 kV anti-surge protection built into it, a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A, and a single Type-C port, then a bank of audio ports supporting MSI's Audio Boost 3. The Godlike Gaming Carbon motherboard features the same Mystic Lighting setup as the Gaming Pro Carbon, and also includes the extension ports. There's the same 8 DIMM slots, but the Godlike Gaming Carbon can support only up to 3,400 MHz. There are 5 PCIe 3.0 X16 slots supporting quad SLI or Crossfire setups. There's a single M.2 Gen 3 X4 connection, and the board comes with an included Turbo U.2 host card adapter. Then for SATA 3 ports, there's 10 of them, with 2 being reserved for SATA Express. The rear I.O. has some differences from the Gaming Pro Carbon. There's the PS2 port, two USB 2.0 ports, the clear CMOS button, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one being Type A, the other being Type C, the four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, dual killer gigabit LAN ports, as well as killer wireless AC and Bluetooth. The audio setup is MSI's Audio Boost Pro, which includes the standard bank of audio ports, but then an additional 6.3 millimeter hi-fi audio jack. Moving away from the Carbon series, MSI also introduced their new X99 a X Power Gaming Titanium board with its silver PCB. This X99 board sports the standard 8 DIMM slots supporting up to 3400 MHz memory, 5 PCIe 3.0 X16 slots for up to quad GPU configurations, a dual BIOS setup, a toggle button for overclocking, a single M.2 port, one U.2 port, 10 SATA 3 ports, but with only one reserve for SATA Express. Rear I.O. has the PS2 port, three USB 2.0 ports, the clear CMOS button for easy BIOS resetting, six USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports with the same single type A and single type C. There's only a single Intel Gigabit LAN port as well as an Intel wireless AC setup with a standard bank of audio ports. Also in their Titanium lineup, MSI had their new Z170A M-Power Gaming Titanium. The M-Power Gaming Titanium features a few trade-offs from their already existing X-Power Z170 board. There's only one HDMI port instead of two, a DVI-D port instead of Display Port, and one less PCIe 3.0 port, but those are made up for by the inclusion of two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, a Type A and Type C, as well as a new U.2 port and the Mystic Lighting Extension port as well. And then last, and actually kind of least, not due to MSI's fault, but rather AMD's, is a 970A Gaming Pro Carbon for the AM3 Plus socket. MSI has done their part to spice up the AMD motherboard lineup since the AMD position has been rather stale for quite some time. MSI has added their lighting setup with Mystic Light extension ports, updated to USB 3.1 Gen 2 with A and C connection types, but unfortunately it still only runs DDR3 at up to 2133 MHz. Kudos to MSI for actually showing support to AMD customers with a new motherboard even while AMD is lagging behind. MSI definitely had a lot of different markets they wanted to impress with their Computex booth. Motherboard enthusiasts definitely got what they wanted with these iterative upgrades to already great motherboards. And again, I would like to thank WooWare and MSI for sending me to Computex this year. Subscribe to stay up to date on all of my Computex coverage, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.